Some celebrities are breaking their silence regarding Diddy, with Nick Cannon, Two Live Crew's Luther Campbell, and Stephen A. Smith all defending their friend Diddy, the previous two even floating a theory as to why this is all happening. Let's take a look. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and Diddy Gate continues. Yes, we're working on animating that, so stay tuned. Join us later today live. We got a lot of updates to go through. But I said previously that a lot of celebrities were staying silent on this. Well, some have stepped forward. I don't know if Diddy asked them to, if they're doing it on their own, but both Nick Cannon and Luther Campbell uh, spoke up on Diddy. And when Luther Campbell spoke to Stephen A. Smith, they actually floated this idea that maybe it's a conspiracy theory related to his liquor lawsuit. We're going to play the clip. Before we go there, let's go to Nick Cannon's thoughts because honestly, I do hear where he's coming from. I think he's saying some some interesting things here, and I want you to hear it from Nick himself. Here we go. I'll reload this as we get it fresh. Let's go Instagram. There we go. Why is it so? I'm asked about people that I know about. It was either Breakfast Club or Angela Yee or something, and they asked me about Puff, and I, I answered it as honestly as I knew how to answer it. I know these people. They're not just public figures to me. So I have to almost do this dance about when it comes up, because just as much as I know Diddy, I know Cassie. I think what they brought up is like, I saw that. I kind of was saying, I'm praying for Cassie, trying to find the high frequency in knowing the story Knowing the right thing to talk about, I was like, this is a someone who was hurt, who was victimized. But then when this question goes a little bit further, like, so what about Puff? I was like, I don't know how to feel about that. When I was going through my stuff, someone that called, checked on me, stood by me, stood up for me. And I was like, what do I owe? But what does that mean, stood by you, stood up for you? Well, when, when no one else would protect me or... Whether it's Puffy or whoever, you want to be their brother first, not their PR agent. Mm. But as a friend and as a brother, I'm, I want to defend. But that's not your job. That's not my job. So your advice to me is uh, sometimes you just say, I'm going to reserve, reserve comment. comment. That is my brother, and I'm going to reserve comment. So that goes back to what this is all about, healing in the public eye. As our brotherhood, it shouldn't be in the public. I find difficult. Do you agree there with what Nick Cannon is saying? Should this even be in the public? And should these celebrities who are close to him uh, speak up? I, I got to say, a lot of people don't like Stephen Colbert, but I was really impressed when Les Moonves was accused of these things. Les Moonves was a close friend and got Stephen Colbert the gig to host that he's now doing. And when all that was coming down hard, Colbert gave a really strong monologue defending his friend, but also def you know defending the right for accountability. It was just a really smart way in how to handle it. He handled it way better than he did with the recent Princess Catherine thing. But my point is, I, I do think this is a smart approach. You know the man. Maybe you don't know the dark ends. Maybe you do and you're covering it up. I don't know. But either way, uh, I respect Nick, where Nick Cannon's coming from on this. At the same time, clearly acknowledging, I believe, Cassie, which then would be against Diddy. Uh, but what do you guys think of this? Do you give Nick Cannon uh, props for this, or do you think Nick Cannon's got his own issues and not the best person to be defending? Let's jump over next to Luther Campbell of Two Live Crew coming to Diddy's defense. And yes, with Stephen A. Smith uh, floating out this idea that maybe his legal woes, which you guys don't remember, he settled, resolved that dispute with Diago, Diageo, uh, his the liquor brand. They resolved all disputes, uh, and uh, but he was going against them, and that is where they think the crux of this came from. Let's go to it right now. Corporations do what? They put money into politicians' uh, campaign fund, and, and that. But that's why I think he's in a world of trouble. And I don't know anything. I don't mm -hmm. want anybody to think I know anything. Diddy is always cool with me. Yeah, he always treats me, too. me with respect. I hope that he's innocent of what he's being, of what they're investigating for. You know, some 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 sex ring, some some sex trafficking yeah. ring, and all of this stuff. I hope he's innocent of all. That. I don't yes. know what the hell is going on, but I do feel this way. In the world of big business, and this needs to be said while I'm sitting right next to you, Luke Campbell. In the world of big business, when you make an enemy of big business, along the way. They know enough about you. Yes, they do. To come for you when they want to come for you. Yes, yes, they do. You understand? And, 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 and it don't have to involve jail. It doesn't have to involve a crime. It can involve them squeezing you out of your money. Yes, Making yeah. sure they humble you beyond repair. Yes, and, 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 and that's, the, that's what you see right now with Diddy and you see that with Kanye West. 
Mm. You know, when you look at these two brothers, you know, they cut the deals, you know, with Adidas and Adidas spend millions and billions of dollars and putting into these dudes' pockets, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and the liquor companies putting all these millions and billions into their pockets. These guys, you know, when you turn on them, you better know what you're doing, you know, and I always advise guys, don't, you can't fight them because it becomes like CeeLo, no. you know, big bank take little bank, you know, and, and, and big bankers are going to win every time, you know, and at the end of the day, you, when you go into that war mm -hmm. with these individuals, you need to know that, you know, they, they, their, their ideal of you, they own you. And if you turn on them, they're going to break you. They're going to humble right. you. You know, they're going to take everything that, that they gave you right. away from you, humble you, find another brother, mm -hmm. and put him on that pedestal, the same pedestal that they put you on. But as independent as you have been throughout... So they pivot there. But uh, interesting theory that they're floating here. I don't know if I agree with this one as much as I did with the Nick Cannon one. Because this is... All, there, look, there's always a bad guy you can point to to blame... <laughs> <laughs> your problems and then avoid taking accountability. Now, again, Diddy hasn't been charged with anything just yet. He said a lot of stuff and yeah, there's some uh, Cassie I, it seems very reputable uh, and believable. So there's a lot still out there. The fact that Usher admits to these parties, the fact that Bieber and him were going off to get girls when Bieber was 15. Look, there's enough stuff here that Diddy needs to take accountability for and it never has. So I, I don't think it's nothing but this idea that now the liquor company he settled with is so big that they're now out there getting the feds to see uh, this. No, I'm not buying this one. And I think the Kanye one is different. Kanye did that to himself through his actions, through his words, like he, right or wrong. He pissed a lot of people off with what he said. And when you piss off a, such a large user base, customer base, a, cust a company is then allowed to sever ties. Now, it's more complicated because obviously I know they're now trying to sell things, but they, it's just, to me, it's a whole separate debate. It's a whole separate debate. And, and I do think actually some of the corporations are now uh, being wrong, wrongfully taking advantage of their relationship with Kanye while not actually monetizing it the proper way. Uh, I, I agree with Kanye in that, but I do think Kanye has dug his own grave in a stupid way. Regarding this one, like, I still don't even get it. Like, why, why, what did he say or do that these that, that he's been proved of uh, is that that's suddenly cutting ties with he he made a, a settlement with this liquor company. So again, this just seems odd to me uh, to see them both floating this idea out there that that's what's happening. I mean, they're not wrong. Corporations absolutely can shut you down. Um, and they do have their hands in politicians pockets as well. Uh, the whole, so much corruption is happening. It's not impossible, but on this one, it does feel a little strange uh, but they're at least uh, Stephen A. Smith even acknowledging, I don't want to get involved. I don't know, but I hope it's not true. He's been good to me is, is definitely one that I imagine others will try to say. Uh, and I hope he's innocent too. I don't want this stuff to be true. My goodness. That would be horrible if this stuff is true. That's a, that's a tough thing to be at, but either way they are jumping to Diddy's defense. Uh, and there are now some celebrities doing that. I want to make sure I'm covering all sides of this as we continue to cover Diddy Gate. What's going on? Did Diddy do it? Did he not do it? We got a lot more coming. Also, a lot of people are starting to get nervous if this investigation digs deeper. Uh, we'll be covering that and so many more updates later today live and throughout. So if you haven't already, make sure you've hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for alerts, smash that thumbs up as well for engagement. And I want to hear your thoughts and theories down below. Also, who do you think should be most nervous about all this happening? I want to hear your theories too. We're paying attention to the comments. We're going to dig deep into a lot of these people. So stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.